Hello and welcome. I will be starting shortly. This is a look at an old, old game from 1996 called Sierra's The Realm Online. Uh, Sierra no longer has it. It went from Sierra to Norseman Games, then to Codemasters. Uh, a couple other people picked up the open source code, put it on an emulator, uh, for a while and now it is back in the hands of what's known as a virtual world holding company and together them and digital alchemy has done a re reboot of the original software as of right now there is no actual sounds in the game um what I'm doing is I borrowed um, a playlist from Ray Field. He's a YouTuber from about 10 years ago. He posted this playlist. If you're interested in coming in and joining the game, and do so right here at realmserver.com. I consider this fun for everyone. Uh, if my daughter was still only eight years old, I would gladly have her play this because she was a avid uh, Legend of Zelda fan um, back when she was really young. I mean, I grew up. I grew up on Atari at five years old. You know, I don't understand why people blame video games for violence. They think that's a crock of crap. Violent people are just going to be violent. Um, I use video games kind of as a therapy for myself. Uh, I'm former Army. I, uh, actually, Pennsylvania Army National Guard. And I was supposed to deploy... Back roughly around 2006 over to the Gulf and unfortunately I have a few bad discs in my back of which they deem me non-deployable so that was the end of my 15-year career at the Pennsylvania Army National Guard so I was in a very dark place and right around 2007 we came back to the realm Norseman Games had it, did, had it, had the game at the time, and uh, I've played it on and off here and there. Um, I find it mostly enjoyable, very calm, relaxing. It's not fast-paced. There's not a bunch of monsters. There's no gun violence or anything like that. It's all old, like. RPG. Think of it as kind of like maybe almost Dungeons and Dragons based. Um, turn based combat. You hit them, they hit you. Whoever survives, survives. Uh, if you're looking to join the Discord, I think this is it right here. Yep. Pretty simple. Everything's pretty much realm server. And we are going to get into the game. My main purpose tonight is try to gear up my character. I had a character back in 2007 by the name of Duncan McLeod. 
Uh, I have a couple of the devs looking into seeing if they can get access back to that character from Norseman Games because it was pretty high up. It was fully geared. <laughs> it would save me a lot of hassle and I'd be able to give out a lot of easier content in the game. But unfortunately, um, it's going to take them a while. I mean, there's servers of probably massive amount of information from the years. I mean, you're going back 1996 all the way until now. So we'll see what happens. But this is basically what the game looks like. You have a small little 16-bit um, VXE file. That's it. They're working right now. Digital Alchemy is working right now on a 64-bit version, I believe. Um, of which they're redoing a lot of the monsters, a lot of the background graphics, textures, uh, the sound waves. Because the sound waves, the reason why they're not in the current game right now that I'm playing, is both they lost the licensing from that one, plus it's also obsolete to today's standards. There is no way to actually play that music and have a game. Uh, it was originally done through MIDI when Sierra had it. Sierra, if you've ever played any of the old Sierra games like King's Quest, Space Quest, King's Quest, um, Police Quest, all of them had MIDI music. Even uh, Leisure Suit Larry, you see I have a nice little Hawaiian shirt on. Uh, one of my biggest fans in Sierra was always Al Lowe. He's the one who brought you Leisure Suit Larry. And Al Lowe, I think, was pretty much always in a Hawaiian shirt. This game, The Realm, was actually thought of from Stefan Nichols. Um... Currently, right now on the Discord, there's also one of the other creators, Gil. He's still very much part of the game again, once again. So, it'll be great to see what he launches with the uh, next uh, dungeon update. Right now, we're in the Pets Grove. This is going to be the free version. And I think it's going to remain free. The next dungeon update though is going to be a paid subscription it was a paid subscription even back when norseman games had it i think it was like five dollars a month or something it wasn't a lot or you could do like a year for like 30 bucks but back then you didn't have dsl you didn't have cable modems you didn't have t1 connections your highest internet speed was maybe 28.8K. That was it. That was the fastest you can download. Um, so they kept the game very two-dimensional graphics, very cartoonish. So it wasn't very taxing on the computers. It wasn't a heavy download. So that's why I'm saying this game is actually for anyone. It's very easy. You pretty much just click along the screen. You can see the different. As I go here, you can see the different icons. Like right now, it's free floating. If I come over here to the edge, it shows me I'm going to make a turn. I'm going to go that way. If I come down here to the bottom, I'll go down, go to the right, it changes. Okay. You can barely see it, but there's a dungeon here I'm going in. It's called the Thieves um, Hole. When I come into this dungeon, I'm looking for a belt. I believe it's the belt of carry is supposed to be in the Thieves Hole. See, it says Thieves Hole right here. You just click on him, click attack. Away you go. You can also cast spells if you have them. Anytime you cast a spell, you have to have mana. 
It says missed immunity five. That means I cast a spell. He's held there for th supposed to be f it's five rounds because there's a cooldown period. So basically, you're only going to have him held there for two rounds. And he's going to start moving again. And you're going to have to wait. Oh, look at this. Adamantium wristbands. That's pretty good. I don't have them. The highest I have is Mithril. And the way you can see what you have is you do a look at. Right now I'm in power, powered by fairies, and the fairies also gave me heightened dexterity. Dexterity, of course, allows you to move around a little faster. So the first thing we got is our attributes. As you level up, um, your strength, your dexterity, things like that will go up eventually. It takes a long time. <laughs> um, your movement rate will increase as your dexterity goes up. Your armor rating will come down as you fight or as you are mobbed by somebody. Of course, you're going to take damage, so your armor rating is going to come down. So then the next thing you want to look at is your equipment. Okay, my armor rating is also down because I only have this piece at 50. I have a two-handed weapon, so I can't have a shield. And I took off my helmet because I was getting kind of heavy. This mithril gear is a lot lighter than steel and things with decent armor rating. I, it is pretty, pretty decent for where I'm at at being only a level 26. Um, the only thing is it's kind of weight heavy. Everything in the game has a weight for the most part. Mana doesn't have a weight. I don't think gold right now has a weight anymore. It used to at one time. You can only carry so much. Uh, here's our skills. As you level up in the game, you get something that's called build points, which is under state. This was the old, when it was through billing, um, 1969, blah, blah, blah. We don't really have to worry about that. Experience. And then there's next level. So when I get, say, a little under 6,300, I'll hit my next level. That'll give me a, another build point, which will give me three build points. Each of your skills are based off of build points. Okay. Level one costs you only one build point. To get to level two, you need three build points. So to go to Acrobatics 2, I'm going to need three build points. The skill book, that'll say Proficient Acrobatics. Proficient is your level 2. Then there's Expert, which is level 3, and that requires a lot more build points. I believe the last one I did, this two-handed sword cost me almost seven build points to get, which would be is now Expert Two-Handed Sword. After that, you have uh, Master, and then after Master, there is Grand Master for some. Not all have a Grand Master, as far as I remember. Uh, and of course, once you do certain certain skills, there's Mage. I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six different mage magical skills. Um, as you get them and you level them up, there's also books, spell books you're going to have to have. You either can buy them or you can find them after as you beat up monsters. Um, that's basically the gist of the game. Uh, another thing here is thing called mail now right now i have my screen shrunk, shrunk down so i can also see the stream because of course i can't do an overlay to let me know if somebody's viewing or not um because it's only 16 bit they won't communicate <laughs> not happening so there's mailbox in here 
and you can look in your inbox and inside there there's things called magic mails you can get from people um magic mails are basically kind of like a little mini guide to tell you where things are um like one is town locations where to go in order to get the skill books which towns have it uh things like that where the mithril weapons are versus just uh tempered steel um there's one i created it was called labyrinth that's basically supposed to be the directions for the labyrinth you'll find out later on there's weapons called five normally they're like a throwing dagger what that stands for is like fire ice venom uh I think encumbrance and dexterity or if it has an S here, it means it's a strength based weapon. And you basically get the weapons at a certain level of sorcery, I think it is. You get enchantment, you can enchant weapons, you can um it's enchant and something else. Can't think right now. My brain's fried. Um, but I, I know I'm not there yet. I don't have the level yet. But you can basically enchant the weapon and add magical properties to it. And that's the whole idea behind that. Um, the other one I have here is all the different dungeons and where they're at. So basically the way it's set up is it'll tell you a town. You go to that town's teleporter and you start from there. It'll tell you maybe go left one, down two. So it would always be from the town's teleporter or gatekeeper. So we're going to continue on down this hall. Notice there's a couple more thieves down there. Go up here for a minute. I just want to make sure there's nothing else here. Oh, nothing out of the ordinary. And come back down here. And now I gotta fight all these guys. This should be fun. Now, if I had something like a greater spell of like holding or something like that, I probably would use it or attempt to freeze these guys in place. So that way I can like kind of 1v1 them. As you see right now, it's going to be a little rough. I don't even know if I'm going to do this one. <laughs> I'll probably die. Probably die a couple times. I could get that one thief. He's only a 168 versus so many other ones. But they're kind of like protecting him, it looks like. I'm going to try clumsiness on one of them. Maybe I can get him to fight one of the other ones or something. Yeah, I'm definitely going to die. I don't even know if I have enough in me to heal before they get me. I only got one heal in. What I drop? Ah, my lock picks. Not a big deal. <clears throat> as soon as I wake back up from my little beauty nap here, I'm gonna go ahead and heal a little bit. Make sure I'm clicking me, not one of those guys. I'm over here for a bit. But 
But it's, it's just simple. You don't have to move your eyes all over the screen. Um, it's just point and click, really. So, like, maybe your mom might enjoy it, your grandparent, your kid. Who knows? It's a very nice community. Um, they're doing their best to keep it a clean community. Meaning that, yes, it will be for everyone. Especially, like, the general chat. Um, in the Discord, in the game. It's always been that concept. I really don't need to heal anymore. I'm going to try to see if I can hold some of these guys back. At least one of them. I'm gonna do the same thing with one of these other guys here. We'll hold him back. I know I'm probably gonna die again. I'm probably gonna lose more stuff. Technically, I should probably have somebody in here with me. It's not a big deal. See here, I should definitely have some of my gear actually enchanted. Fortunately, um, I don't know, for some reason there's a lot of people that are hanging out in the towns that I guess were able to get their old characters. So they have like something like millions and millions of gold. And they think everybody else should have that much. And it's like... No, not everybody got their old character. You don't have that kind of money for chanted gear. And who knows, I really didn't look ahead of time. Maybe this particular dungeon is supposed to be higher up. Maybe I'm supposed to be a level 50 in order to get in here. I don't know. I just figured it'd be pretty cool to check it out because I haven't been here in, oh God, what, 16 years or so? <laughs> Confusion, I think, is the one that if I had that, I can have him fight his friends. Yeah, I think that's it. Oops. 
I missed a timer. <laughs> you can actually slow down the combat speed. Right now I have it pretty fast. It only gives you like 10 seconds to get the choice. Um, with the extra speedy one, it takes even faster. I think it's like five seconds. So I'm probably going to die again this round. The only good thing is at least they don't heal each other. As far as I know. If they heal each other, I'm done. I'm going to have to leave. Because pretty soon I'm going to start losing my money or my mana. Uh, I don't even know what I dropped. So tell me in a minute. Ah, oh, steel key. All right. We're still good so far. But pretty soon if I keep losing, dying, um, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up losing a level of which then my health will go down. Again, technically it's only pixels. It's not a big deal. It's not going to be the end of the world <laughs> because I died five times in here. Just trying to beat up these knuckleheads. I'm trying to see. I think I just gave him a, a fire boost. I bet ya. Oh dude, it's been a while. Many, many years. Let's see. I'm gonna try to hold one of these knuckleheads again. Yeah, I have a couple guys now. They're getting low on health, so they're going to try to start fleeing. Should be able to get one of these guys here. One down. Um, I try to heal quick. I missed it. Lost my robe. <laughs> None of your stuff is chanted, so technically, who cares? It really don't. Heal again. Heal again. We should be able to do it this round. As you notice, I didn't even pick up 
my my junky robe or these boots. Oh wait. No, you did get the boots. Let's see. Uh try to steal from me. Resurrecting. Yeah, you are now level 25, yeah. See, I kind of figured I'd lose the level. Not a big deal. Anyway, let's go my inventory. And if you have a backpack on, everything is going to go on your backpack. I'm going to take them. I'm going to take this. Oh, we're going to take off these with wristbands. Uh, I can't talk tonight. Throw them in the backpack. I'm going to wear these. I don't know what they do. I don't know if they have a special power or not. Oh. I don't know if they have a special power or not. Sometimes things that you do get in a dungeon do have special powers. Um, this will give me 80% and four stones. In the backpack, uh, gives me 80% and but it's only 0.5 stones. So that just added to my weight. So even though they're better, they're also heavier. We're going to put them back in the backpack. Wear that. Wear, wear my robe again. This guy just tried to steal from me again. Get away. My money. So, gas spell. Hold monster. And who has the more health? This one. <coughs> so we'll hold her. Why oh, beat up this turkey? I'm going to heal a bit. Um, sometimes you can sit idle, um, especially like if you have uh, regeneration on any of your gear, you'll eventually regain your health over time. It helps. <laughs> that way you don't have to keep sitting here casting spells. That's basically why I want to go through some of these dungeons and get some gear, because 
now. You can sometimes find mana off of monsters. Oh, jeez. Anyway. There's two more there. I might not even have to fight most of these guys. I don't know. Six hundred and eighty four. Oof. Um, looking. Where? I could go left or right, huh? Don't see nothing here. Get away, you mongrels. They gave it the office. And no, I do not want your extended warranty. Hmm. This is weird. Nobody's here. No chest. Hmm. Maybe it's always supposed to be a dead end? Could be. That was her. Go down here. Go to the right. Go to the right again. Go down. Pretty sure there's supposed to be a chest in here somewhere. I didn't look at the map. Go up. Four health points at least. The classic music. Hey, there's a chest already. I see. Um, got a mug, a pelt. A cow, a shirt, tempered steel plate armor, a belt. That should be what I need, the belt. Look at See a belt. The item has an armor rating of 10%. This item weighs five storms in excellent condition. Take. I'm going to take everything. So after all that, I really did not have to fight them. Oh well. And yes, some of the items are dyed really ugly. Um, if you're a guy, don't worry about it. You can re-dye stuff. <laughs> this, unfortunately, is too heavy.
32 stones. Good Jesus. Animal hide. I think with the animal hide you can sell them or you can eventually craft stuff. Not sure what the bed's for. I have this book like so many times. So I'm going to take off these. I'll go back up here in the backpack. I'm going to wear the belt. So hopefully I can carry more. I'm going to wear these. I'm going to drop the book. And let's see if we can pick this up now. Okay, so it's plate armor. What I should be able to do is take that one off. In my backpack, it's too heavy for it to not work. Um, let me see where we're at. Uh, my encumbrance is now 76 out of 110. Wish I had that empowering spell. There we go. We're gonna wear them. And now I'm gonna try to pick it. Nope. It's too heavy. Dang it. Where am I at now? Let's see. Oh yeah, I <laughs> two pounds. I know it's not enchanted or anything, kind of sucks, but I'm going to have to leave it here. There's um, 
in a way. From here, I can just, there's a spell which is called Home. I can just cast that, get out of here for now. Since I'm too heavy to do anything else. I'm gonna go in here, go in my Stronghold box. You put your original login password in here. This guy over. You look in your backpack. Put your backpack here. You're gonna want the books in here. Bag of tools. The cow. The leather skirt. Steel Slaurettes, Mug, um, Mithril wrist, Wristbands, well, actually, no, let's bring them back. We're gonna take these two. I wanna look in here. See if I have any more um scrolls of identify. this in case anybody's looking around sometimes they can like sneak in your house somehow they were having problems with that at one time use this use your own boots I don't think they're special, but just in case, <coughs> I guess I'll save them for now. Come on. Maybe only Crater Identify works.
as you notice, music doesn't really match up. Um, he's just on a random shuffle. Because, like I said, there is no music, no sounds in the game right now. They're working on it. And they're basically having to rebuild the whole thing from scratch. So, it's going to take a while. Go ahead and close this. Close my backpack. We'll go out here. So I don't know if I got the belt or not. I really don't know. Don't know if I had to. If it's just going to be a, a regular belt now or what. All the little townies all hanging out, like always. <laughs> it's always the same usual people, just hang out, answer questions, uh, give people gear if they have extra. Let's see, what else can we do? I think I should look at the mail and see if there's somewhere that has um, scrolls of greater identify for sale. We probably also need to repair our gear too. For repairing your gear, you can go into any shop and click on the NPC, hit repair, and repair again. Voila. Um, let's see. I'm gonna check out the mail. Oops. Hit the wrong mouse button. Uh, I don't think it's really gonna tell me that way. Might have to. The realm's been around for so long. There's things in Reddit. Um, let's find some of the other websites. Sandy Claus, uh, which it was actually holtguard.com, realm.holtguard.com. Um, Sandy Claus realms, realm site, a lot of that, even though it's from eons ago well guess what this version of the realm since it's the bare bones version back when sierra and norseman had it guess what it works it's accurate <laughs> it's what you want to follow by uh what else we got uh. So basically say you improve your weapon skill, second work on your meditation skill. The last skill you should get is mysticism level one because then that way you get the spell book hold monster. Um, once you have that, head north of Myria's and hunt bounty hunters. Put on an intellect set, two rings and an army for this. Your tactic for these guys is as follow, hold the monster followed by much bashing his swords. If you feel this is way too rough on you, see the Wizzy leveling guide. Run these guys until you hit either 75 or find a hitter at level 75 plus using a magic mace. Apply up mace 5 and war work on sorcery. Hmm. 
stick with mithril armor and switch between AOCs, ROEs, Amulet of Intelligence, Ring of Intelligence, and as situation di dictates. Huh. Um. E realm online greater. Identify scroll. Trigger identify is a drop only spell. It can come from several mobs in the bone piles, sacks, and chests in caves. Uh, magical items. I guess there is no greater identify Skoro. Yay. <clears throat> yeah, it don't look like it. Ugh. Oh, well, so I don't know if that has. Oh, wait. You do that, maybe. Yeah, I, I really don't know. Um, look at. Yeah, see, I don't have any increased attributes or anything. I don't have anything here for resist. So, I think that might be just a regular belt, or I have to get it identified before I can get it to unlock. Maybe I gotta take it off. Take off. Stand over here and look in. Use. Maybe it's just a regular belt. Maybe I didn't get the one I wanted. Would be all right so now this thing said go north of Marias so let's see what kind of monsters that gives us hopefully something a little bit easier than all them thieves <laughs> all right Maria There it is. What's in here, if anything good? Hey, people. We got Bone Dust, Low Rider, and Backspace. And they all look like twins. Uh, let's see. What's she doing? You can talk to so many NPCs. Sometimes they give you quests. Um, it says, I want to learn the art of spellcrafting. Uh, no, not yet. Um, we got in the shop here. Anything good? Light dart. Spell book of nimb nimble tea. Ooh. Ooh. 
Nobility, of course, is what you would put on to increase your dexterity and your movement. Um, Matri, okay. Whatever we cancel that, we look at when we see what level the Matri he has skills. The Matri he is a level two. Which skills am I missing? Oops. We have the heal, and that's it. So what spells does she have? I can do the familiar. I already have the heal, so I can do a light dart. I can do an ability. And I can go to proficient, which is a level two, which is in power. Uh, here's some of my resistance spells now. Purify. Someone picks me we want, and we want missile resistance. Missile resistance is like when they shoot things from afar. Um, power, missile resistance, heal, I already have. Someone picks me. Purify. Oh, it's not too bad. 900 purchase. Alright, so now we're going to go in here in the inventory. Look at all our pretty books we got. Learn. 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 Now we learn them all. Now what you want to do is, once you learn something like that, that's a lot. You want to come in here and you want to start setting some favorites. Um, so we definitely want to add empower because like when I told you about enchanting items and things like that, empower is what's going to give you strength. You're getting a power boost. You want to add your nimbility, of course, because that's going to make you more nimble, more agile. You're going to be able to move more. You might be able to block more. You might be able to attack more. Purify is more or less a cure. Um, Summon Pixie is nice. Dex normally just on the battlefield. He can't do it in town. That's why he's great out right now. Hold Monster you can't do in town. Flame Orb you can't do in town. They're all battle skills. So it would be once you're outside of town. Um... Summon Pixie is good because she will heal you during a fight if you get in trouble. But if you look, I think she costs something like 200 mana for each time. She's telling us to fight this stuff. Is she nuts? Yeah, no, that ain't happening. I'll be like this guy. I'll be standing around Nikki. Well, thanks. We'll go back to my usual area. We'll go over here and fight some stuff. Oh, more people. What do we got here? We got a bomb. We got... Roofless. Bag lady. A tramp. Bum. Mm. Uh, if you look here, you can go into, I guess, chat. You can say who's on. Right now, even though the game is how old, it's back to almost square one in development. Um, back to like when Sierra and Norseman had it in the beginning. Look at, and there's 104 people here right now online that still love the game. Like I said, it started in 1996. It is now 2023. Next 27 years, and it still has 104 people interested at, at this particular moment. 
So, like, there's even more than that. Um, I think the Discord has something like maybe 230 some people, roughly. Next, just one Discord. There's multiple Discords. Um, I only push the RealmServer.com Discord in that because this is the new official. Um, if you want to find out when new updates are coming, things like that. Uh, what kind of game progress is going on, if there's any kind of events. Years ago, for the holidays, they would have uh, Halloween pumpkin carving type contests, uh, trivia. As you do the events, you get rewarded possibly. Then you can go to a certain shop called Marvin's. Marvin's would allow you then to buy stuff for your home, additional stronghold boxes, whatever you name it. Um, it's, like I said, it's not bad. It's been around forever. It's very easy to play. Yeah, you're gonna probably die a lot. Yeah, you're gonna lose your stuff. Yeah, you're probably gonna lose some of your gold, if not all of it. You might drop your mana. It's free. It's free. It's very calm, very relaxed. What else can you say? I mean, no. Kind of speaks for itself, really, when you think about it. I mean, it's 9 30 right now, Eastern. Um, there's people here from all over. Uh, I think there's people here from Australia, even. Oh, you just a little thief here. Oh, you want to try to steal from me? Where are you going? Did he ran away. Yeah, he ran away. There's a bounty hunter. Hopefully he's not with a whole bunch of other people. Sometimes you got to watch when there's a bunch of mobs on the screen like that. Um, they have a tendency to have friends with them. You really don't want to take on a lot of things all at once. I'm going to do my hold monster on him. I know I can always hold them. Bounty hunters. They're not too bad, they give some decent experience. Um, by level 25, you should be able to safely beat them up without any problem. He's down to only 29 health points. I still have well over 200, so we're fine. He will heal. Um, generally, you saw I did three attacks on him. You can always get like two to three attacks. He should be dead by critical striking proficiency. So that's a level two book. Uh, I don't even think I need it to tell you the truth. I think I'm already at level two on critical strike. Yep, level two already. But that's something I can sell for gold. I am gonna heal one time. I don't want to heal a lot because if I stand here for a while, I might find somebody like this guy. Same thing. I'm gonna go ahead. This time, I'm gonna change it up. I'm going to cast a pixie right here for me. She's going to come in. She's going to help me. Also going to hold him because this guy is a dagger thrower. He can hit me from really far and it's going to take me a while to get to where he's at. I'm going to freeze him and now I'm going to come over. She'll hit him. I can go hit him. Um, after a while, she'll also start healing me. 
It also gives him another target to shoot other than me. He's starting to head towards her while still attacking me. Because he knows I can do more damage. Plus he's also probably trying to escape. Disarming traps, a grand mastery skill book. Ooh. I don't even remember how much this stuff's worth, really. If it is worth anything, if not, who knows? Oh, wait, no. Uh, let's see. What are the two things with your goal? <laughs> I need stuff. Of course, I'm ready to get in a level. Anywhere close? Ooh, not really. Like 7,000 more. Oof. See, there's a warrior there. They're not too bad. We'll be him up. Hopefully, yeah. Well, having to play this with my screen sunken down, or you know, a little hard on my eyes. Whew. Went to the doctor not too long ago. Um, Testing me for glaucoma. Um, my pressure is a little high in the one eye. Um, I can't go back now until January. That way they have uh, something to compare the results with. Falling apart. It's called it old age. Huh. Oh, the... Get out of here, little vampire bat. I don't want to fight you. No, fairy, heal me. You made a love. You can actually do cool things like this as well. You put Slashy in chat. Um, dance with fairy. Popo Joe, dance with fairy. It's basically an emote. Um, there's other commands like slash give. You can give players items, money, mana. Hey, you got blessed with dexterity. Thanks. And I'm all healed. Ooh, look at this big boy. I'm going to beat him up. I'm going to go ahead. Um, we'll get close to him and attack him. First round. Then we're going to go ahead and we are going to 
Hootie Monster. Okay, he's held. I'm gonna hit him. Poof. Ah. Uh, 416 experience. Just from one little guy. Oop. Alright, next. Next little turkey. Same thing. First round. Do attack so we close the gap. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna pick hold monster this time. Hold him. He basically stands there like a statue for a little bit. Bye. Any mouse like that thing that was on Scooby Doo so many years ago? The mud. Mud monster or mud man. Uh, the undead necromancer, they're a little bit tougher. Um, they can shoot like poison gas or some kind of stuff at you. Or summon in buddies like these two idiots. It's nice that I took him out like that that quick because eventually they'll disappear. Hey. We'll stand here. We'll let the fairy heal us. Come on, do your job. Uh, she blows. There. There you go. Be nice to me, furry. Tanks. Um, the only thing over here is it'll change now from West Haven Wood to North Haven Wood. North Haven Wood is more lower level stuff. I really, if I fight this bat, even though it's going to be like super easy because of the level I'm at, I'm not going to get a lot of experience. Um, yeah, it's easy. I got 142 experience. I'll have to fight more monsters if I stay in this North Havenwood area than I would if I went to the other area. But I risk a chance of dying more. Possibly. Oh, a carving. I don't forget. I think that's a statue of some sort. I think you gotta identify it and it. It's like a statue of Enyed or Despothes. Whatever the heck the gods' names were in here. Despoloth. Something like that. Oh. If you happen to like the content, um, you're a supporter of the military, please, please, please hit the follow, hit the sub button on YouTube. Right now I'm streaming to Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter all at the same time. Um, I only see what's going on in Twitch right now. The only window I have active. But... Any kind of love support you can help give me because I am just starting out. I did just get offered to join the uh, team military, which is really, really cool. Um, considering I have served 
the military for 17 years. I am considered 40% disabled with the Veterans Affairs Office with a connected disability between hearing, my knees, and my feet. Um, I don't have anything for my back yet. If I ever get more paperwork turned in to the VA, um, there's a good chance I could probably hit 100%. Considering that's what I got put out for. I have degenerative disc disease in my lower back. Between that, a um, couple other things I have going on. I have diverticulitis now. Uh, large prostate. <laughs> now. All those old man ailments. I'm gonna die. Oop. I just dropped a wolf pelt. Big deal. Okay, yes. I'll stay here. If you really get in trouble and you die, you can just pick, uh, go home. Go outside your house. Stand there for a while. You'll regenerate, even if you don't have any items that have regeneration on them. It'll just take longer. Hope you do. Boom, 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 boom. You notice it? I'm just standing here. It went up a little. As you level up, of course, your max health points will go up. It scales per level. Um, my other character I have that I'm trying to get a hold of, bringing back in, has uh, like 2,300 health points. <laughs> so it's like I want well over 2,000 more than I have now. Uh, what else we got going on? Hmm. Nobody's around. Nobody's around. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Yeah, so, like, if you're a military veteran, you stream, and you're not part of the military team, go ahead and send me a whisper. Um, tap one of the icons. You can reach out to me in Steam. You can reach out to me in Twitch. Reach out to me in YouTube. It doesn't matter. All my social profiles are here. Reach out to me. I'll do my best to see if I can get you um, the information you need to get you to join the uh, military team as well. I mean, it's broken down. Uh, they'll give you a uh, redirect link for your page. Um, as long as you're still an active member with the team, you don't join another team. Um, You'll have a redirect page. I ain't even set mine up yet because I already kind of have one through Streamlabs. I don't know if I'm really going to use theirs or not. It all depends how it looks and everything else. I mean, I really didn't look much into it yet. The nice thing about it is it's supposed to be kind of like a team slash family. We're supposed to be able to support each other. Um, I know Brown Rice 69 was streaming the other day. Um, I caught his stream for a little bit. Showed him some love, gave him a follow. And uh, when I came on earlier today, 
I finally got home from real life, I uh, noticed he followed me back, so that was cool. There's a couple others um, I know. Uh, YOLO Gaming, you only live once, Gaming. Uh, he's a member, which I never knew he was a member of the team until I became a member of the team and I put two and two together. I'm like, hey, I seen that icon before. Who's gonna win? No, she won. Next is Steel Club. Let's see what picks it up. Warrior picks up the steel club. Good. She's almost dead. Don't go too far. You're mine. I can't believe she's still alive for only two hit points. What a croc. What a croc. Eat your butt over here, lady. I'm, I'm not even gonna... Um... Waste my time walking across the screen. Screen. Oof. Take that. <laughs> Why waste my time? Uh, who's that? Oh, it's another warrior. Ow, big chief. Yep, you stay there and hug that wall. I need to heal. Hey, where'd you go? Did you leave me? No fair. Yep, he left me. All alone. With no place to call home. No. Ah, there he is. Up there, big boy. Here often. There you go. Are you scared now? I heal you. Kind of weird that you can heal the enemy. I always found that funny. Whoop. Ooh, spooky guy. Hey, where you going? I'm gonna make you dinner. My dinner. Task monster. Um, with me streaming, I think I'm going to slow down the speed of the combat a little because I'm trying to also help explain what's going on, get more people interested in the game. Um, if you check the chat, it's pretty much just Realm Server. Uh, RealmServer.com is to get onto the website to create a character, download the program, um, and then discord.gg slash RealmServer. Voila, that simple. 777 or 78 experience. Yay. Look okay. at Let's see. State. Um, a little under 5,000. So we're about halfway to the next level. I want to see how well this empower does for me. Bonk. And let's go ahead and do an ability as well. It's only gonna cost one. Bonk. And now close that. We look at ourselves and it should say, ah yay. Let me cast the heal. I'm gonna go off screen over here. See if we can't find something decent to beat up. I think this imp should be alone. 
Oh, no, he's got a wolfie with him. Cast spell. Um, you hold monster. You hold the wolfie. Zamps, I think I can take pretty quick. Yeah, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. You're gonna die. Goodbye. And my wolfie still held a little bit. He's just coming back out of his freeze now. We got 1v1. The way fights were meant to be. You happen to be somebody that has PTSD or any kind of past traumatic experience. Uh, spell broken mind shackle and wolf pelt take all. I would kind of recommend this game. It's also a great game that if you were just playing something like, say, Diablo 4 or Evil Online, so many other ones that I stream a lot of, or Scum. Um, something that's very fast pace lots of monsters you're shooting you're running you're shooting you're running you're tripping you're running <laughs> um it really it should be hard to go to sleep and unwind after those types of games so between a little bit of midi music that i have going on in the background i'm getting ready to take a nap but then again i've also been up since 5 a.m today kind of i did fall asleep in the car which sucked. <laughs> it hurt. Not fun. Yo, what's up there, big old dog? Thanks for the follow. Hope you enjoy the content. Hope you decide to come on into realmserver.com and download it. As of right now, let's see how many is actually online. 98 people. So from when I started to stream, there was about 104. Not much difference. Very nice community. I'll go ahead and post this stuff again, just in case it doesn't show on your end. TRO play is my command, and it brings you to realmserver.com. And uh, here is the Discord. Pretty simple. Hey, go dog, I'll uh, check you out in a minute when I'm done with my stream. Uh, if you're part of the military team, kudos, mate. I uh, will hit your follow right back at you. This game, um, like I said, one of the old characters I had was I refound again on a picture. I played this back in 2007. Very, very dark time in my life. Um, 2006 is when I found out that I was no longer deployable. So therefore, I got my walking papers from the Pennsylvania Army National Guard. Since I was uh, non-deployable, they're like, well, um, we're sorry. You can either go to Walter Reed for a re-evaluation, um, or you can do a early out. Just, just take a medical discharge. Uh, at the time I was married, I had a three-year-old daughter. 
well, actually, she was only about six months old, I think, at the time when we were supposed to deploy. And then, of course, until they got us all together, activated us, we got our orders and all that, it took a while because um, you have an SRP, all that good stuff to try to get your combat prepared to go from civilian military life to actual active duty life and shipping overseas. Uh, the wife was like, uh, no, you're not leaving me with a six month old baby. I can't promise I'm going to be here. So when they gave me the option to just walk, I decided, yeah, it's time. Um, cause Hey, I wanted a family. I had a child. It was what I was supposed to do, be a father. And, uh, needless to say, you know, getting divorced anyway. So I was in a very dark place around 2006, 2007, a lot of, a lot of health, a lot of mental issues, a lot of anger. Um, I'm glad I had things like this. Mecco Rohan, I think I know you from old, 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 old Muko long ago. Uh, you see a lot of these people with, with uh, M-E-C-H, the mechs in front of their names. Uh, they've been here since like forever, day one, two. <laughs> They're a pretty cool group. Um, if you get in with them, I think the only, the only thing is they ask you to change your name to have some kind of mech in it somewhere along the line. There was a bunch of groups back in the old days. There was Steve Skilds, there was Max. Um, I don't remember them all. Uh, I think there's various wizard groups. But yeah, having this nice, calm, relaxing MIDI music helped a lot. Um, and keeping busy. Um, video games is very therapeutic in, in my understanding. It helps me not think about things because that's one of the major problems, I think, with anybody that has any kind of depression any kind of trauma that they're constantly remembering and having all these built up bad feelings. Um, keeping yourself busy, keep, keep your mind occupied uh, throughout the day. It'll really, really help. Find something you enjoy. And I'm not saying bury yourself into that, but let it, let it heal you. Take the time you need. Um, just have your, have your space. Everybody needs that once in a while. Basically it's a decompression. They say sometimes you need med medicine and um, medications, things like that. Uh, I was on a few, I was on a Wellbutrin, uh, and I'm not knocking anybody that if you are on any kind of uh, antidepressants, but if you actually listen to some of the side effects, I wouldn't take them. Most of them say, if you take this and get suicidal thoughts, well, hey, uh, I had depression already. Don't you think I have enough suicidal thoughts on my own without medication cause me to have more? So that's what I'm saying. Find something you enjoy. 
you like to read, find a book. Um, anything. Don't think about what bothers you. As little as possible. Uh, don't do drugs. Don't do... I don't know. Um, just... Try to relax, you know? Even if it's just listening to, like, elevator music on YouTube. Anything. Find something you enjoy. Even if it's just going for a long walk. Long walks are a little scary, though. Because sometimes... As you're walking, you're going to think, I want something to actually occupy your mind. I actually used to do 5D diamond dots. I rather enjoyed it, but um, I have a lot of, starting to get a lot of arthritis throughout my whole entire body. So, so while you, I really can't do that that often as much. A little rough, it really is. Oh, book of rust, that's a good one. I like the little combat clouds, it reminds me of pig pen. Uh, I guess we'll beat up this little ogre guy here. What's up there, ogre? Oh, me ogre. Oh, look at that. Whack 54. Whack 100. Oh, man. What's up with that? That was a hit. I probably don't even have to hold monster. Yeah, he's only got 38 health points left. Health points, set points, same difference. Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. One more whack for you, potato head. See ya. Expert weapon smithing. Yeah, you can make your own weapons. There's supposedly somewhere. Well, I don't know how often you're going to find them now. Again, because this is a rollback slash re uh, reboot. Um, there's steel bars, iron bars, carbon steel. Uh. Probably copper, gold, adamant, uh, obsidian, or obsidianite, some, something like that. Basically, obsidian. Uh, spell book of freeze. That's a good one. Where are we at here? How much more do I get to another level? Let's see. Uh, about 1500 ish. Ish. Uh, who do I want? Ooh, Big Daddy. Think I could take on Big Daddy? Big Daddy will give me a lot of uh, extra experience if I beat him up. Oh, why am I healing him? He yeah, and Knucklehead. Get out of here. Cast on me. Thank you. Sometimes too standing here. Um the monsters do can have a tendency to aggro you. Um if they really find you a really bad threat. Which that could be a bad thing, because if you're not ready for an area and you walk into it. Good. Not going to go good at all. Um, sometimes you can select flee. If you watch the combat screen here, it'll tell you if you have a, a chance to actually run out of that or not. Um, if you have things like freeze, uh, hold monster, you should be able to 
enough damage and you don't have to worry. Um, he's going to be in Mist Immune for a couple of rounds. Uh, I'm down to under 200 health. He still has 400. So I'm going to try. And, oh, too long. I keep forgetting to slow that down. Whoopsie. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. He's conking me in my big head. Let's see if I can flee. Probably not. Bar -bar. Uh, Spellbook of Freeze. Eh. Hope we do. Stay here. Let's see who gets it. Uh, double fee. Fenris. Fenris. Your man, Fenris. Ferris. Ferris Bueller. 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 Let's see. Bong. 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 I should just get some of the scrolls of greater healing or potions of greater healing. That'd be so much easier. Let's see if that Fenris is still around. Did he just kill him? Let's see. You don't want that wolf pelt? Why don't you want the wolf pelt there, boy? Yo, dog. Yo, dog, don't you want your wolf pelt, what dog? Yo, dog. There's a warrior for 252. We'll fight him. First round. You're gonna attack. Close the gap. Do, 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 do. I don't know why it said own three. Um. One of my other ones should have picked it up. I would thought would have thought. I have to watch the playbook on that. When I first started streaming, um, is it getting close to around two months now? Yeah, kind of sad. <laughs> um. Two months, I only have like six followers. Uh, come on. Why won't you pick up the book? Pick the book. Thank you. Um, I need to heal for a bit. I don't even want to go out there without being healed. Um. I want to say I looked into do, starting to do the Twitch um, around August. August was kind of busy though. I really didn't look into it too much. I didn't look into what I needed program wise, any of that. I had no clue. Um, I'd say maybe about the middle of September is when I finally actually started looking to more actual videos and watching more streams, asking some questions to some of the people I got friendly with, uh, like Mind One. Mind One's a great guy. Uh, he plays a lot of EVE Online, a lot of sci fi games. Um, I think he did Star Citizen. He also did uh, Starfield. Is that the other one? Star Citizen, Star, Star Field, I believe. Anyway, um, 
really cool guy. Former DJ as well. Um, little bit of um, mental health issues as well, past traumas, things like that. Um, who else? Quad God. Quad God. She, oh my God, she's awesome. She's on vacation right now. Uh, she actually plays games with her community. Um, she has a Patreon page. Like, she's all over the place. Um, Twitter. If, if you click her... Her Twitch account, I believe all her social links are up there. Um, she's awesome. Uh, Fridays, she plays games, at least for a little while, prior to her doing her normal stream um, with her actual community. Uh, one, of, one of the favorite games that I like to play with her is uh, Party Animals, which is a Steam game. Um, it's fairly cheap. I believe it's like 19 or $20. And uh, it's funny because you get to pick your favorite animal, whether it's a duck, an otter, a dog. I think there's a couple of different kinds of dogs, a couple of different pussy cats. There's a, a, a alligator, shark. Um, and you just, you can do four teams of two, two teams of four, or maybe maybe a 1v1 where it's eight people all against each other i don't even know or if you have to have a team or not um and we just beat the stuffing out of each other it's funny you know grab a hold of some little poor animal and <laughs> slapping them around a little bit all in good fun though um she's got a very nice community she built up for herself. Really does. Oh, this is taking forever. I was going to heal more. Being in here and it don't look like it. So, we're going to have to use some more mana. And as you can see, even though I'm fighting stuff... You get gold more from things and items and spell books and drops from things more so than you will mana. Mana is a little hard to come by for free anyway. I mean, I can go back to town. Um, most of your magic shops, I believe, sell mana. Let's see what's going on. I don't know if she has friends with her or not. Uh, there are good fairies and there's bad fairies. I think the green one, as long as you don't attack it, will stay good. Yeah, she just blessed me with dexterity. Black ones are bad. Well, or gray-ish color. The beat him up maybe he's got some money you got some money punk it's 42 who else is pretty cool um there's one guy i was watching the other night with the military team he was playing uh i think it was called don't scream and the whole object about that is, is it's almost like Blair Witch Project type stuff. You're out in the middle of the woods and it shows you different sceneries at times or different jump scare type scenarios. And the whole premise is, is I think you have 18 minutes to walk around. Um, you got to constantly keep moving. Otherwise, the timer freezes temporarily until you start walking again. Um, you have 18 minutes not to scream. <laughs> it was so funny. I felt bad for him because, uh, he's also, I guess, recovering from a bout of COVID. But he's trying so hard not to cough. 
not to make any sudden movements or anything, and it's like, oh. It, it, it's cool, though. I mean, I'm rather enjoying some of the people I've gotten to know and talk to. See, you just see how this guy just pulled me in here? This stinky little rat. I'm here trying to talk, and you're here trying to pull me into combat that I really don't want to be in. Get away. We'll beat him up. <laughs> I don't want to die. I died enough. I want to gain one more level. Not coughing the mic, which I gotta do. Hold on. <laughs> um, yeah. Like I said, I've been up since 5 a.m. today. Get tired, get a tickle in my throat. The weather here in the northeast sucks. Yes, it does. We'll beat this little MP guy up. Right, little MP guy? Come here, daddy, give you some love. You want some love from daddy? I give you a love tap with my sword. Goodbye, Mr. Imp. One more hit. Bye. Toodles. Boom, bing. Ah, oh, let's see. Anybody else around? Ding, ding. Uh, I could probably look. Hey, where are you going, thief? Get back here. Could probably look and see. Uh, streaming what? I I would raid somebody. Um. I don't think there's anybody here, as far as I can tell. Main chat, read only. Me? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I can't, I can't pick it up, unfortunately. So I can't tell if somebody's watching on Twitter, or YouTube, or... Just lurking. I have no clue. Like I said, just starting out. Um, I'd rather this not be a hobby for me because of the fact that um, with all my health conditions right now, I really can't work. Um, I retired from my job of six years. Uh, due to like I have impingement syndrome in both shoulders. Um, I thought it was basically a rotator cuff injury. Basically, I guess it is. Um, but when they did the MRI, they, they actually showed me where certain ways I turn, it's actually putting pressure on the nerves. Um, there's probably burning and that going on. Um, they would have to go in there, do a little scraping. Give me some relief. I think they ran away. Where'd he go? There he is. No, 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 no. Don't you run away from me, homie. I need to finish kicking your butt. Uh... Light dart cast. Bye. Try to run away from me. I need that experience, boy. Alright. I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. Um 
like I was trying to say, I would raid somebody. As far as I can tell, I don't have anybody in the room. There's no sense raiding somebody with nobody in the room right now, and that's fine by me. If you like the content, you like what I'm trying to put out, um, show you something new, something different, something that's free. Hey, that's my main goal. Would it be nice to get follows doing this? Oh hell yes! Um, because I really don't make any money then. It's more or less a hobby. In order for you to make money doing streams, you need to have at least fifty followers. You need to have so many people viewing you, so many people talking in the chat. Um, it, it, it's a lot of work. Uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, it's not easy. I've talked to a couple people, even mine. One who has uh, at any good of in time, I could say probably about a hundred and fifty. Um, once he gets going in the morning, like within the first hour that he's streaming, half an hour, he's up to where at least a hundred and fifty people in his stream.、Um, he does a Saturday night、uh, request party where he actually DJs live.、Um, That easily, probably three hundred people are tuned into his channel on a Saturday night. When once you get out there enough, it'll be easy. But it's getting started. It's getting started. Getting an actual schedule. Finding content that everybody and their brothers not doing, which is why I'm trying to put this back out there. You know, it's old. Hey. Somebody who's only、uh, in their twenties, early teens. This is new to them. Yeah, it's not like、uh, Diablo Four graphics. It's not like New World. Any of them.、Um, it's completely different. But when you sit down and think about it, we would not have. Games like World of Warcraft, probably, if it wasn't for Stephen Nichols and Gil and whoever else was on the team, there was like three or four people. I think that was on the original team. Going to Ken Williams and Sierra and saying, "Hey, we have an idea. We want to try this." And loved the idea and backed it. It's the reason why we're here. It's the reason why there's still roughly a hundred people still playing this game, even though there's probably fifty games with way better graphics and an actual sound. <laughs>、um, it, but it's the love of the game. It's the the community. It's The fact that it is low pace, it's chill, it's relax. You know, as you can see, I'm standing here, standing idle. Nobody's bugging me. I can just not waste mana and just relax. Um, like it. Hopefully, the next time I decide to stream, um. Which hopefully will be tomorrow. I'm hoping.、And、I'm hoping it'll be the round. I'm hoping we bring more and more people in, little by little. I like to get the see the community boosted back up to around 200 people at all times. I I remember when I used to play this back in Norseman in in 2007. I remember you click on the game. Type your login information. You hit enter, and it would come up. You are seventy-five in the queue line, and it's like, oh, okay. Let me go grab my coffee. Let me go grab my dinner because it's going to be a while. Because I think we actually had to wait 
there was no like throttling up a server to get more players online. None of that. It was you had to wait until someone logged out, crashed, <laughs> whatever. You know, you had to wait until that person was gone. That was ahead of you. Um, sometimes it didn't take long. Sometimes it could go from seventy-five to thirty within five minutes, and then maybe another two minutes you were in. It all depended on time of night, day of the week, whatever. I could tell you right now, though, if there was some kind of like holiday event, trivia hunt, or some some kind of special event going on in the game. Uh, pack a lunch. <laughs> All right. Well, we're back up to full health. Just about. See what kind of goodies we have out here. We have a bounty hunter at three sixty, and we have a warrior at one eighty. Uh, the warrior sounds a little easier. She hits hard. She hits hard with that two-handed axe. Cast spell. Hold monster. Boom. Oh, I forgot to change that again. After this fight. After this fight, I'll show you where it's at. I promise. I promise. Don't beat me. No. Boom, 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 boom. Spell book of Mastros. That's a good one. That'd be good. Um, mass meaning if it's a group of like more than one. <laughs> uh, there could be sometimes I think five in a group, even or more. Um, monster wise, if you you have a chance then of casting that on all of them. If their items are rusty, it means they can't attack. I don't think as hard, and they also can't defend as well. Plus, I think the stuff has a tendency to break quicker. There's a lot of things I gotta try to remember. Um, like I said, I'm going back to 2007. I play a little bit on some of the emulators. Some of them、um, they modded the game a lot, and it just—I don't know—it just didn't seem like the realm to me. This, to me, is what I grew up with. This is what I fell in love with.、Um, I've talked to Stefan in game, out of the game. Once he was gone and Sierra no longer had it, I talked to him a couple of times on a more personal level. I've talked to Al Low.、Um, just finally talked to Gil tonight. This was the first time I even knew about Gil on the project.、Um, told him because I couldn't really get an answer out of his Discord people. I'm like. Can I stream it? Is it allowed? Self promotion? What's going on here? Because every time I try to type in, do a link in their Discord, it says, "Ooh, that's not allowed. We don't allow that site." Well, do you want your game to return to some kind of success so that way you're doing updates and trying to do things different and have your touches back on it again? Or do you just want to basically waste your time? Because if you want to waste your time, that's fine. You know we can make this back into a hobby again. But if you want your game to be successful, you need to be able to let it get out there. And you need to let it known on your Discord as well that yes, we're trying to push this game. We're trying to get more people in here for you to play with, have fun. With、um, to show you that yes, we are fully invested in this game. We want it to become successful, 
and we want you to enjoy yourself while doing it. So hopefully, because he, he told me straight out, he's like, oh yeah, green light, you can stream all you want. Now, the only thing is, now I need to talk to him and say, fine, you want me to stream all I want. I want a self-promotion then on your Discord where we can put links in. Because if we can't put links in, then there's really no sense for us to really push your game. One hand has to wash the other. If I'm going to take time out of what I could be streaming to become a partner in a particular game, I'm into something that's not going to really probably have any kind of Twitch drops or anything like that to attract traffic to my stream, then you need to at least allow me to post on your Discord that, yes, I am a streamer. Please come check out my content because I'm doing stuff for the realm, which helps you. But I also have other things going on. So hopefully I can cross that bridge now tomorrow because as of right now I have I think a little over five hours streamed for the round. Uh, three hours the last time I did one and so forth two hours. It's not like I'm really keeping time. That's not how I want to run it either. It's just... Think of it kind of like a relationship. If you put a lot of effort into it and you barely get anything back out of it, eventually you start scratching your head. Well, hmm, why can't I just play my game instead of trying to stream a game and make content? You know, if it's going to become like work, then why do it? What are you doing, lady? What you got? You got something good? Can do anything to comfort me? I'm so afraid. <laughs> How do you want me to comfort you? Alright, so that was my little serious time there. I hate doing serious time. I really do. Don't like it. I mean, hopefully you like the content. Hopefully you like the fact that I'm more mellow. I don't like scream and take rant rave. I mean, yeah, maybe I'm not lively enough. But really, I'm just here to promote me. Keep a nice, chill environment. Show that, yes, you can have fun. Yes, you may die a lot. whoop de doo um, Like I said, I think this... Hey, look at that. Level 27. I believe I have three build points now. I can upgrade something too proficient. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I do a lot of different streams. Um, RPG's always been a fan of mine. Uh, Legends of Zelda. I mean, me and my daughter. Can't ever take those memories away from me. She's in college right now, but she's still a big Zelda fan. What else we got? Um... I think I actually played this with her for a little while. Or tried getting her into it for a little bit. Um, what else do I do? I do Scum. Uh, zombie survival game. Team Meta Croatia. Uh, EVE Online. Been EVE Online since 
probably 2007 as well. Um, you got their freaking map book set in here, which was from the second uh, update. Or, well, big update. Second expansion. Uh, what else? And Dawn, I played a couple times here and there. It, it's cute. It's another game. It's like this. Uh, I'll, I'd rate it E for anyone. Uh, everyone. What else we got? Uh, I'll let loose will be coming up probably next week. Uh, for Veterans Day week, I'm going to probably do Hell Let Loose all week long uh, in order, in honor of all the veterans um, past, who passed away, present, if you're currently serving or just currently a veteran, and anybody that's going to become a veteran soon, um, just to honor all of us. Um, should be a lot of fun. I'll probably get into some EVE Online again here and there. The thing is, like right now they're doing a Crimson Harvest event, which was basically Halloween. Um, I lost like two or three ships, so I'm like, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not doing this no more. It's too costly. So I'll probably do a couple uh, ride farming, uh, maybe another uh, Twitch streamer, uh, our... I can't pronounce her name, what's the crap? Aramoria. Uh, might join her and do a couple, like, mission runs down in Tash. Uh, maybe even Shad Squatch. He's another big EVE Online streamer. Maybe I'll do something with him. Uh, you know, he likes doing the wormhole space. I used to love doing the wormhole space, too, but... If you're not, if you don't have a well-equipped ship, fast ship, you're going to die. Honors <laughs> to it. And hopefully it's not expensive, not something you can't replace, because, again, you're going to die. If you always... Tibby, hey, I can't remember Tibby. He must be running a group. Um, I think I remember Tanky too. Ultimate Wiz, that sounds familiar. Wolf Chaos, Evil Wizard. Uh, not bad. Um, hopefully you kind of enjoyed this game, you found it cute, you found it relaxing, something that, hey, since it's free, it might be for you, even though, yeah, I, technically, if it's free, it's for me, kind, kind of rhymes, um, we'd be glad to have you, you know, don't be a troll, we're gonna come and play, don't be a troll, we want to have a nice chill community. There's tons of MM mail, like I said. Uh, all I gotta do is ask. Full Discord, lots of guides. Just type TRO. Well, not really so much TRO. Type type it out. Type the realm online. That way you know you're actually getting the realm online stuff. You just type TRO. Sometimes that could be a little iffy. You might get like some business in like Russia or something. Never know. Uh, and and if you do look for content on it, again, make sure it just says the realm online or OG realm. Uh, Norseman Games Realm, Codemasters, Sierra Online Realm, anything past that, if you look at, like, I think there was, um, Mist, and I forget what the other one was. 
Um, those I think were modded. So a lot of the stuff out there is not going to match up. Their maps were different. They added extra dungeons. They added this. They added that. Changed where things were. It's not going to match up. You're going to be lost. You need to make sure it's like Norseman or newer. I mean older. Like... Like I said, uh, Sierra put this out in 1996. Well, basically 1996 to 2007, maybe a little bit after that for Norseman Games. And then Codemasters was after that. Um, not sure how long Codemasters had. But they might have had it to about 2017 or so, or even 2021. Hey, thanks, Terry. Um, we're going to keep moving along here. We're almost in about two and a half hours into the stream. I need to get a little higher levels before I go back into that thieves hole. Uh, Got to figure out where I can get that uh, spell and get to the levels that I need to, in order to use that spell because... I don't want to keep going down there if the loot is junk. If it's not what I'm looking for down there anymore, then I need to look somewhere else. I actually, I do hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you enjoyed my old grumpy smiley face. Uh, I am like 51 years old, you can tell. There's a nice scruff. That's how I know about this game, because I'm old. There, um, was, there is PvP mode, by the way, which I haven't showed you, is never really big on PvP. Um, if you go here to options, general, you know how I said about the combat speed, you can go really slow, normal. I was on fast, that gives you about 10 seconds for the combat choice. I'm going to go back to down to normal. Um, you notice I can click this all I want. It's not going to do anything. This is for standing there to heal too. Um, you can be nice. You can go ahead. You have the extra mana. And the heal. Yeah, she she did gain 48 hit, hit points, so she probably is trying to heal. Oh, see that? I did the next guy. Oh, excuse me. Old age. Um, I'm going to click on this one. We're going to see how much time it gives me. See, our normal gives me almost 20 seconds to figure out what kind of attack I want to do. I want to hold the monster. I want to attack him. I want to flee. I want to make like the red hot chili peppers and flee. Whatever. No matter. Um, any of my army teammates out there, 
or even a military teammates for Twitch or any of the other streaming platforms. Um, one thing I want to point out to a lot of you guys, I've been looking. You're not streaming long enough. If you can't sit down at least an hour, technically it should be two hours. It takes almost two hours for, think of it like somebody at home channel surfing, what's on the TV, what's on the TV. It can take almost two hours for somebody to find you. Um, if you're doing, especially if you're doing content that everybody and your brother is doing, <clears throat> it's, you're going to have a hard time. You'd be better off doing something like I'm doing, something a little more obscure that people haven't really heard of. You might have more of a chance of having that lone follower come in and streaming to something that has maybe 4,000 viewers, but 450 channels are also streaming the same thing. You want to look at the analytics of the actual content you want to do. Um, You need a holy shit, yeah. You're getting beat up pretty bad there. Here, we'll heal you again. Heal me some mana one day. <laughs> Gee. Have another one. There you go, you're almost healed. What are you fighting over her? <laughs> um. <laughs> Get like sidetracked. I'm just trying to help my guys out. I, I noticed a couple of people they only did like a 15 minute stream, half an hour stream. Nobody's gonna find your stuff, dude. Um, I'm not saying I'm perfect because I'm streaming for two hours and basically talking to myself probably most of the time. But I have a higher probability of somebody just popping by real quick as they're channel surfing. Um, what's going on here, Realm? Or Internet? Hmm. That's Ducker. I mean, I'm not knocking anyone. I know I've had it. In my past, especially in high school, oof, I used to hate public speaking. I never did my reports. <laughs> uh, I basically would just accept an incomplete, you know. I'd rather do that than stand in front of all my classmates and look like what I felt like was being a dork. Talking about something I really wasn't passionate about. I didn't really care about. Realm is not on any response. You may continue to wait for Eh, we'll wait. I ain't doing nothing important. Uh. Hmm. Warning. Possible network fair failure. Eh, whatever. It's fine by me. Um. They are, like I said, they are working on updates. Uh, so... Something like this is expected to happen. It's not like I spent $70 for it and it works like this. Then I might be a little upset. It's free. Whoopee. I can end the stream. I can just sit here and chat for a while. It doesn't matter to me. We're, uh, 
Hi there it is. Your connection to the run has dropped. This program will exit now and you have to move. Okay, who cares? Whatever. We'll just go to this screen. I will go ahead and we'll turn off the MIDI music because I'm sure who if anybody's listened to this long enough, you're like, oh my god. What is that music? But this was the classic. This was the game, you know. Um, you can't see my screen right now, but uh, I am going to look through here quick in my old, old Norseman games file. Uh, so we're going to open a media player. Sound font is required for a MIDI synthesis. Please install the sound font and configure it from the See, this is the problem that they're having. Um, the original sounds weren't waves. They were MIDI. So the extension is actually dot .mid. If you don't have MIDI audio or the codec and all that, it's not going to work. And you're going to rip your hair out. And I think that's why they kind of took the sounds out of the game for now. It was just easier that way. And start from scratch. Yeah, it, it's not going to play. Um, so I was going to try to show you that... Um, I still had all the old music and it played, but obviously it won't play now. It's not just um, digital alchemy that's having problems with it. It's going to be basically everybody because it's just so obsolete. Um, music codecs don't recognize it. That type of issue. Uh, so, needless to say, um, closing statements, carried around online, started back around 1996, still has pretty decent following. Um, like I said, I think when we looked last time, there was about 90-some players online, 98 players. Uh, time before that, when we looked, it had 104 players online. And next... All players all at the same time. Um, a lot of gaming magazines used to just call this mud. I'm sorry. I would not call the realm online a mud. Yes, we did not have the phrase MMORPG. Okay. That phrase did not even exist until this game. This game is what started MMORPGs. I can guarantee you, if Blizzard would actually say it, they probably got some of how they did, how they created uh, WoW, World of Warcraft, probably came because somebody on the team saw the realm. Um, before MMOs, they used to call them MUDs. Multi-user dungeon. It's, the realm's not just one dungeon. It's multiple dungeons. There's the Thieves' Hole. There's Troll, troll Haven. There's um, the Labyrinth, the Maze, uh, Snake Pit. There's all different kinds of instances all over the map. So no, it's not a multi-user dungeon. Yes, you do get whisked away 
in either yourself or your group and you fight a different area called an instance. I still don't think it classifies it as just being a mud. Um, especially when, like I said, back, back around that time frame when it was created and you would try to log on, especially if there was an event and it would say you are 75th in the queue. <laughs> it's like, is you were on dial up yet? You're, you're on dial up or you're on maybe cable or DSL. But it was only still 28.8K. That was the high, fastest you can go with a home internet connection. Uh, but like I said, next week, um, next week or the week after, actually, uh, it's definitely going to be Veterans, Veterans Day week. I'll be doing Hell Let Loose. Um, maybe later I'll probably be doing some scum tomorrow, depending on how the realm's doing. They could be doing updates. I know Gil said he's, I think they're close to pushing another uh, client update when they do that with the menu and everything. Um, Probably going to take a little while to roll out, I'm sure. They're probably going to have to shut the server down, test some things, and who knows, maybe the page server is going to be coming back up soon. Uh, time will tell. If you want to, I'll post it one more time here. You can join, follow the Discord, see where the game's going. And last but not least, if you want to come. Join us and play. There you go. All you got to do is go on that website, realmserver.com. Create an account. Download the app, which is basically sciw.exe. Um, watch your virus program. It's probably going to glitch it. I'm going to say, hey, this might be a virus, blah, blah, blah. It's not a virus. Okay, it's been the same file name since... 1996, okay, and it's not a virus, you don't have to worry, just download it, put it to your desktop, create a little uh, shortcut on your desktop, and come on in, all right everybody, well, peace.